it's your first sleepover that you're gonna be having in your treehouse by yourself without me since you didn't invite me. Sorry, girl. Let's play truth or dare. I choose truth. Have I ever kissed a boy, Sarah? What? Sarah! Someone's here! Someone's here, Sarah! How could you be sleeping? Wake up! I'm gonna call Titi! I'm gonna call Titi! She's not answering! Hi guys, it's Titi. Welcome back to my channel. I'm here playing with Bloxy and her little blocks. While Goldie is packing up, she's having her very first slumber party over at her treehouse and I'm so excited because she barely goes there anymore and grandma and I worked really hard to build it. Bloxy, do you want to see what Goldie's up to? Come on, let's go find her. I think she's in her room packing. Hey, come here. Don't run away. <laughs> Bloxy has been really playful lately. Come on, let's see what she's up to. She's probably in her bedroom packing for the sleepover. Goldie? She's not here. Is she in my room? I think so. Hey, uh, what are you doing? Uh, just seeing what kind of stuff I can bring to my sleepover, that's all. Hey, that's my makeup. Can I borrow it so we can do makeovers at my sleepover? Okay, but try not to ruin it. It's new. Now, Goldie, I'm treating you like a big girl because it's your first sleepover that you're going to be having in your treehouse by yourself without me since you didn't invite me. Sorry, girl. Sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do, you know? So, what are your plans for the sleepover? Well, nothing like special, really. Nothing in particular, like... Come on, tell me. Well, if you really want to know, I have a whole agenda, a whole sleepover plan I wrote in your computer. What? First of all, headline, sleepover plans, location, treehouse, and maybe around treehouse. No, no, no. You need to stay inside your treehouse. Fine. Okay. First, gossiping, spilling the tea about school, about boys, about a new girl, Jennifer, that has a boyfriend. <laughs> what are you going to talk about boys? I don't know. And then, dance competition, then prank the pizza delivery person. Then, makeovers and face masks. Then we're gonna pay adopt me, and you know what? I adopted a little baby, and I called her Bloxy. Then we're probably gonna, like, maybe watch a movie, eat some snacks, and then talk about boys some more. Sarah really likes to talk about boys. Oh, Bloxy, you wouldn't understand. I'm practically a teenager, and you're still just a little baby. Well, it looks like you really have planned out the whole sleepover. I want you to be on your best behavior. I'll probably call and check up on you. Um, Titi, are you a little, like, jealous and sad that I didn't invite you? <laughs> Me? <laughs> of course not. Me and Blox are gonna have a lot of fun playing with Blox. Hey, quickly, do you have a first aid kit in your treehouse? I don't know. Did you charge your phone? I've got 21%, but that's totally enough. Titi, don't worry. Everything is gonna be fine. I'm a big girl. Okay. <gasps> Don't forget to tell Sarah that scary story I told you earlier is really going to scare her. I know, it's so spooky. Okay, I'm going to go now. Wait a second, Titi. I forgot to ask you something. I was a little shy. What am I supposed to gossip about boys? What, what even is that? <laughs> I'm sure you and Sarah will figure that out. Maybe we can talk about Jakey, but he's really not that interesting. Oh well, I'll see you later. Have fun. Bye. Oh, they grow up so fast, Bloxy. Oh, Titi, quick. I started building a snowman earlier today, and I didn't finish it, and I don't know where to put it. Well, not inside the house. Go put it back outside. Trick, y'all. I was just practicing on my pranks for the sleepover. Bye. Okay. <laughs> Bye. I'm all ready for the slumber party. I already got my fancy robe on. I put our sleeping bags and I'm a little bit jealous that Sarah's sleeping bag is prettier than mine. I got a little kettle for a tea party. We can sip on some hot tea and I don't even mean the drink if you know what I mean. We have this super old TV that grandma gave me but it still works and we have everything we need to make some snacks and stuff. And of course, grandma's secret syrup sauce. I think Sarah's here. Sarah! 
turn the light on. Sarah, where are you? Yeah, my treehouse door is like super secret. You can hardly see it. Um, but where is Sarah? She told me she was here. I'm pretty sure it was her. Sarah? Oh, hey, silly girl. Get inside. It's freezing. Let's get this sleepover started. Ta-da! Look, I fixed everything up for our sleepover. Oh, you impressed? I know. Why don't you go put on your jammers? So cool. I'm glad you like this little setup. I'm ready to party. So you gotta put your pajamas on. It's not a slumber party when you're wearing your Save the Turtles t-shirt. Get ready to party, sister. You know it. Oh yeah, let's party. I even got this like super vintage cool like 2000s strobe light to get the party started. Any snacks? Well, I wouldn't recommend eating this jello or these hamburgers. They've been here for like a really long time. Oh yeah, ice cream is a good idea though. My kind of bestie. She's still a visco girl even after the trend went away. That's real dedication. Cheers for BFF. Cheers, yay. Mm. Awesome. Why don't you go get your pajamas and I'll get the face mask ready so we can get our beauty treatment on. Let me just turn that thing off. It's kind of annoying. Ready? Do you like it? What the French doll? What are you wearing, Sarah? Is that a bunny or a chicken suit? <laughs> it's so funny. It looks real comfy though. It's like a snowsuit. Are you supposed to be a fluffy bunny or something? You're not sure? <laughs> oh, you've got some personality, Sarah. <laughs> How about we play with makeup and put on some face masks for the wrinkles? I don't know, that's what it said on the packaging. Look, Sarah, come on, let's try it. This is the new Jesse Sprinkles palette. Let's play truth or dare. Uh, sure, we can do the face mask later, I guess. Um, let's sit down. I'll go first. I choose truth. Why are you... Sarah, you're sitting on your tiny little bunny tail. That's so awkward, but also real funny. Have I ever kissed a boy, Sarah? That's personal. Well, technically no, but on New Year's, Jakey, my neighbor, I thought he wanted to give me a kiss the whole time at midnight, but he really meant he wanted to give me a Hershey kiss, like the actual chocolate. I totally fell for it. It was pretty stressful. Sarah, I was telling you a really interesting story and you fell asleep. Wake up, wake up. The party hasn't even started yet. Sleepy time tea by accident. Oh, I was calling. Hello? Hey, Goldie, it's me. I just wanted to check up on you. Everything going good? Yep, having a good time. All right, just making sure. Okay, gotta go back to the fun. Bye. <sighs> I have an idea on how to make Goldie's sleepover party a little extra exciting. <laughs> Wake up, wake up, wake up. This is not what we do at slumber parties. Sleepovers, you're taking it a little too literal. There's no sleeping. Sarah, come on. Don't be a party pooper. <laughs> we didn't even put our face masks on. My skin needs the hydration. Sarah. Well, finally. What do you mean, what happened? You fell asleep in the middle of the, of the fun. We were playing truth or dare and I was telling you a story and you fell asleep. Fine, I'll let it go. Can we put on face masks now? All the magazines and vlogs say that that's the coolest thing to do in a slumber party. And I was screaming because you were sleeping. Sorry, you're just so tired. Tired of what? My skin is going to look so soft like a baby's butt. Are you ready for the big reveal? Look at it. Look at it. Ta-da! I look great. What do you think? You want to go next? Sarah? Hey, that's my sleeping bag. Why are you sleeping again? I'm gonna flash her with my flashlight. Hello? Hello, Sarah? The worst sleepover partner ever. This is not going according to plan. We haven't even spilled any tea yet. Sarah, 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 Sarah. Wake up, wake up, wake up. Where am I? You're in the treehouse, duh. What's going on with you? You're not really, like, being real fun. And... I'm not really happy about it. Did you fall asleep again? Well, yes, you did, but that's okay. 
I forgive you. Let me just take off the sticky face mask and we can tell them spooky stories. That always makes for fun sleepover time. Can I be real, a real scary one? I have a good one. Titi told me this one today and it is real spooky. So once upon a time, there was this one girl and one day her parents just disappeared. Huh? What was that? Oh, don't worry, Sarah. I think it's just like the wind. They didn't use like the best material when they built this house. So when it's like real windy, there's a lot of weird sounds. But don't worry, let me finish the story. Anyway, so she she was so sad and, and she was there when her parents disappeared and all she saw was like this black shadow with this black hair in their in her face and this person just took her parents and they disappeared forever. After witnessing that terrible thing, she went a little crazy and they is it scary yet? Come on, Sarah, I'm in the middle of my story. And she went crazy, so they put her in like a crazy house for crazy people. And then she also vanished. Stop laughing already. There's a legend that this black shadow that has a girl from a mental hospital with black hair covering her face comes to steal happy children away from their parents. It's so creepy. Okay, what was that? That does not sound like just the treehouse creaking and stuff. Oh, brother. I don't see anything. It's gonna be okay, Sarah. It's just some, some weird sounds outside from nature, probably. Is it a real story? Oh, uh, yeah. That's what Titi said that it was real. Yeah, based on reality, duh. Titi said that the girl that haunts the children wears a, a medical gown and she has black hair that covers her face. She has no eyes. With real people? Yeah, duh, that's what a real story is, Sarah. Is it a story or a legend? Honestly, I don't know the difference between those two. I fell asleep during language arts when they were talking about it. But it's a true story. That's a true legend, I guess. Was it ever a movie? I don't know, I don't think so. Okay, those spooky sounds are not going away. Um, I guess I can go look with my flashlight real quick. The door is locked, so like no one can come in. Yeah, everything looks fine. Nothing to see here. That sounded close. It kind of did, didn't it? Um. Oh, don't be scared. Nothing can happen to us here inside the clubhouse. Are you gonna hide? I am scared. It's almost right here. You're gonna hide? It's really fine, Sarah. It's just, it's just like the wind and stuff. I'm telling you. There's a big lock in our treehouse. No one can come inside. If you're scared and it makes you feel better, I'll go investigate because I'm a like big girl and I'm not scared. Okay, I'm kind of getting spooked out myself now. Um, let's turn the light on. Uh, I should go outside though because no nothing good ever happens. Uh, yeah, I don't see anything. Everything is okay. What in the world? Who is that on the ladder? <gasps> Who is that? Open the door. Okay, well, I'm gonna go. I left Bloxy with Grandma. I wanted to check up on you and give you a little prank, but I guess I'll go home now. Have fun, okay? Bye! Wait, did you wait? And what's wrong? Well, did you, um, Sarah is kind of like a boring sleepover partner. She's been sleeping, like, most of the time, and, like, um, I was wondering if maybe you wanted to stay, because, like, you're real fun, and I have an extra sleeping bag for you. Sure, I'll stay. What are we going to do first? 
How about we watch a spooky movie and make some snacks? Let's do it. Don't want to say I told you so, but you should have invited me to your sleepover.